Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 5.4. Now this problem is split into two sections and I will start with the one to my left. And we are asked to prove that or to show that VO divided by IS is equal to negative R. So this is a um, this is a proof or a proof type question. So it basically just has to apply what we know and see if you're going to get what they are asking us to find. So at this point, we have zero volts because we only have a wire connected to ground. So at that point, we have zero volts. And now that the terminal voltages are equal, here, we're also going to have zero volts. Now let's do our, some nodal analysis, or let's just find the relationship between IS and that. So here's what we can do. This current here goes all the way until this point because there isn't any current which flows through there. So it just uh, goes freely all the way. So here's what we can do, or here's what we can say. We can then say zero subtract to VO divided by R is equal to IS. Now just multiplying through by R, we're gonna have negative VO it's equal to IS multiply by R. And then taking this to the to this side or dividing both sides by IS, we're gonna have negative uh, VO divided by IS is equal to R. And then dividing both sides or multiplying both sides by negative one, we're gonna say that is equal to negative R. And which is exactly the same as what we asked to prove. And therefore, we are done with this question or this part of the question, which says we should prove that VO divided by IS is equal to negative R. It's exactly the same as what the question required us to find. Now, moving on to this circuit, it looks quite complicated, but the same thing applies or the same principles which we know thus far apply. So at this point, this bottom node here is ground, which is known as zero volts, right? So from zero volts to this to this section here, we have this current, but there isn't any current going here, which means this current goes all the way, all the way until that node, right? So given that, or given that fact, we know for sure that between this point and this, sorry, this point and that node, we have IS. So I labeled this node here V. So here's what we can infer from that. We can say zero, subtract V, which means from ground to V, we have IS, right? We have IS using Ohm's law. This is what we have. So rearranging all of this, we can say negative V is equal to IS R or V is equal to negative IS R. So that is that. This is what we have as one of our occasions, and this is going to help us to further solve this problem. So now let's do some nodal analysis at the node V. We are going to have negative IS because IS is going into the node V, and we are going to have V subtract to VO divided by R3. Then we're going to have plus V divided by R2 is equal to zero. Now, this is uh, between that point and that point. We have V and we have VO. So that's why I said V subtract to VO divided by R3. That is fine. So now we do know that V is equal to negative IS R. We are going to substitute that later. But for now, let's just, uh, or we can rather substitute it directly. But for now, let's just simplify this or multiply through by R2 multiplied by R3. So you're going to have negative IS R3 multiplied by R2 plus V multiplied by R2, negative VO multiplied by R2, and then finally plus V multiplied by R3 is equal to zero. Now, taking all of this, or well then substituting the value of V, which is negative ISR into wherever we see the Vs, or we can start by saying, taking this negative VO multiplied by R2 to the other side of the equal sign, then it's gonna be positive. So this is what we're basically gonna have is equal to now substituting negative ISR wherever we see V, we're gonna have negative IS R3, R2, then negative IS um, R. Now this R is R1, just a correction there, R1, right? That is what we're basically gonna have, multiply by R2, and finally negative IS 
R1 multiplied by R3. So this is what we have, and we can basically group whatever we have in this case. So taking out, what can we take out? Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we can divide both sides. To start off, we can divide both sides by IS. So dividing, dividing both sides by IS, we're going to have this is equals to negative R3 multiplied by R2, negative R1 multiplied by R2, and finally negative R1 multiplied by R3, right? Now, the form which we're supposed to prove, or the form which we're supposed to find is something like this, which means we have to divide both sides by R2 to get VO divided by IS, because we have that R2 there. So dividing both sides by R2, we're going to have VO divided by IS, is equal to negative r3, negative r1, and finally negative r1, r3, divided by r2. Now, as you can see from this form, which you're required to find, negative r1 is factored out. Now, factoring out negative r1 on this side, we're going to have vo divided by is is equal to, factoring out that negative r1, we're going to have since there isn't any R1 here in this case, then we're going to divide to compensate for it. So these two cancel out. So that is what we're going to have, right? And at this point, we took out this thing, so it's going to be positive. And here, we took out R1, which is present. Then we're going to have this. Now, rearranging all of this, we're going to have the same thing as what we have at the top. So in the, in the brackets, we already have VO divided by IS, so that check where you have negative R1, check. Then in the brackets, we have R3 divided, divided by R1, R3 divided by R1, so check. We have one, we have one there as well, so check. Then finally, we have R3 divided by R2, R3 divided by R2, check. So you only have to rearrange everything in here for it to look exactly the same as given in the question. So we are basically done with this question.